It was doctors, not ambulances, lined up outside English hospitals Tuesday, demanding a pay rise of 35%. The government calls that increase unrealistic, but the doctors' union says its members simply want wages restored to where they were 15 years ago. We're all at breaking point, not just financially, but mentally and physically. We just can't go on like this. For many junior doctors, like Ashley Macklin Doherty, free time away from work is rare and far from relaxing. As a cancer specialist with a young child at home, she says her nights are already somewhat sleep deprived. I want to also feel like I don't have to also wake up worrying about the credit card bills and the gas bills and the energy, you know, the things that everyone else is worrying about as well. Thanks in part to these financial pressures, she's joining tens of thousands of other doctors in a second round of strike action this year. We struggle to have... Macklin Doherty says bad government spending decisions are forcing doctors to take action. You get to a, a kind of critical point where you have to either stand up for what you, what you believe in um, or you just accept and leave. Such stress has driven thousands of doctors out of the profession or into depression, with some even considering suicide, according to Zaid al-Najjar. They struggle more than they used to, um, mainly due to the um, lack of resources now and the conditions under which they have to work. Burnout rates in medicine here were high before the pandemic. The pressure's now driving them even higher. A lot of it is due to excessive workload, um, working conditions, uh, worry about making errors, worries about causing harm, worry about not being able to provide what it is that you felt you could provide going into the profession. Junior doctors feel this week's strike action is the only remaining recourse to help the public and politicians realise these problems are real and require rapid resolutions. Villain Marks, Al Jazeera, London.